Cool, welcome to Spider's Web. Uh, in this video, we're going to be carrying on painting Star Saga uh, terrain. And this particular series of three videos is going to be on the cabinets. Um, so, we have three different types uh, two of each mould, or two of each mould kind of thing. Uh, so, what do we have? Well, first off, the ones we're going to be doing in this video. Uh, these little filing cabinets draw units kind of thing and it also does a little video monitor of some such on there I'm assuming it's you know, I'm not sure what's inside I don't know I'm not a clue but we're going to do something with that as well next we have these office display units and a, almost like a clock um, God knows what they are, all that. Um, all sorts of bits and pieces on the. Again, not sure what they all are. And then we have the gun racks. These are going to be painted very, very simply. So, um, we'll do those next. So, we're going to start off with these ones then we'll do the gun racks and then we'll build up to these so let's put these ones away for the time being because we're going to concentrate on the ones we're painting now and as you can see they've already been painted or primed in white um, but we do need to go over um, with uh, the white and we're sticking with the paint that we put out in the last set of videos because well, why not? Okay. So let's get on with these. So this is the um, spaceship interior that has been mixed with, whoops, the Stormhost silver. I'm going to have to get some more Stormhost silver as well. And this is going to be going over this area. Now we are going to do something a little different with these. They're not going to be exactly the same kind of thing as it was in the previous videos. some little bits extra that we're going to be doing with this and as you remember from the computer terminals we have printed off some stuff that might fit in on that I'm assuming it is a computer terminal or computer monitor rather I don't know what else that could be be mirror I don't know <laughs> but that's what I'm going to use it as anyway okay so that's the first thing we're going to be doing next <coughs> we're going to be going into the uh, again it's uh, Stormholst silver but it's mixed in with Hydra turquoise it's what we used for quite a bit in the um, tables 
and we're just going to go over on this area in this colour and as you can see it's not a very strong colour it is quite um, pigmented I don't know whether that oh, it is quite pigmented it is quite dilute I think I may have put a little bit too much water in this but this is giving us the thin coat that we need really so I don't think it's um, going to deteriorate or detract from the quality it's going to improve the quality I think because as I say it's a thin paint or thin coat and that's what we want thin coats are better than thick coats and we're just going to go over all of this area we're trying to make it uniform you see because it is sort of like a science or a military science operation a military funded science area I would assume judging by the fact that there's all these big security guards wandering around and the fact in this that the in this game the um, what you call it the mercenaries are actually hero characters so I'd imagine this is either a military or government um, funded a science colony, science station, science lab, I don't know what, you'd, what it could be. But whatever it is, we're going to try and make it sort of like uniform to depict the fact that it is sort of like properly funded and they've got the stuff from the same place you know what I mean okay so that's that bit done we'll see how that dries next we're going to go with that little bracket type thing that we saw and for that we're going to be using the um not the dark stone where are you where have you gone there we are the rough iron that's what we're going to use on that little piece so there's just a little bolted on plate here and I have way more paint than I need on my brush so I'm just going to try and use it all up on this one and then I can come back and mop up on the first one brush off a little bit and then we can get some more oh, there we are okay that's that bit done now what else is the on these oh there's the little handles I'm not going to do them yet until I've actually painted the however there are these little um, b 
ventilation grills which gives me more reasons I think it could be um, a computer to monitor Well, I didn't see that one the first one. So I'll. Oops. I'll do that there. And now we need to go back into the whites and cover up the areas that I've just messed up. Um, I'm going to use this brush because the other one's a little bit too big for what I want. So I'll go back into here. just turn up this area try and keep the brush horizontal with this pet so that You don't paint the wrong area. Yeah. I'll keep going until what we have is white. So that's that piece done. So I think I've got some of the rough iron on the brush, so I will clean it off and go back into the white again. And we'll just there's not much on here to actually um that I'm going to keep that. Right, so I might change my mind later, but I'm going to cover that. I'm going to try and cover that. Um, turquoise up, and I'll go back into there. And I think I will definitely need to give this turquoise another coat. Those areas are really going over because they don't look as though they've been painted terribly well. Any areas that you know need touching up again in this part do it okay so next job <coughs> I think I'm going to use a little bit of the Abaddon black oh I've got some on me thing there. and into that I'm going to put a little bit of this so I'm going to make it a metallic grey. Right, so and that is going to go around here. I don't need much of it because there's not much area to paint with this but as you can see it's going to give it a 
rather interesting look because I don't particularly want it to be black I just wanted it to be a fully mid to dark grey there we go Finish this bit off here, and then this bit needs doing. And don't worry if you get it on what I'm assuming is a screen, because we're going to be going over that in black in a moment. So we'll just quietly try. I don't know whether you can see on the camera, but even these models, aren't, even this model isn't straight, it's solid. Um, so, as I said, I'm not too bothered about cleaning up and making it look nice and neat because it's not going to look nice and neat because of the way the actual model or the material it's made of but we'll do what we can to make it look as interesting as we can make it so it's all around the border here again and that's that okay now we start getting the difference in. oh I've just thought of something I'm going to use that and get a bit more of that mixed up I'm going to do that the base there we are. we're going to give this base a wash as well so I'm not looking oops get out the wrong brush Not really looking for wonderful coverage on this because we are going to be doing a little bit of highlighting on these ones. Um, and now a bit more mixed up. Um, I'm trying to make it blend in with or we're not trying to make it blend in with the um, oh, the actual board tiles because we couldn't even if we wanted to it would, take, it would be very hard work trying to do that because of the actual way the the tiles are because they're very multi-coloured and stuff and you put these in different areas <clears throat> so you can paint it up to match one part of the room and then when you come to do a different scenario it's gone all completely wrong so that's why I'm not trying to do anything like that um, next we need to mix up some more of the turquoise and um, so 